Hi, this is Wayne Blau with tip number 18 from our 35 QuickBooks 2013 Tips and Tricks. Merge redundant names on your list. I've done this a little bit in a prior one, so if you saw this, my apologies. Let's just do it again so you understand how, the power of it. And let's take, um, let's go to the Vendor Center, and let's assume that this state fund and this state board of equalization, both of which have transactions, see? Sales tax payment and this. Actually, for whatever reason, we're the same thing, or I want them to be the same thing. They're, you know, just doesn't matter why for us. Let's just assume that we're the same, all right? And I want to basically turn them to both to the State Board of Equalization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the one that's wrong. Sorry, I'm going to click the one that's correct. I'm going to click the one that's correct. Edit it. All right. I'm going to find the name. Copy it. All right. Go to the one that's wrong edit it, paste the name, and now when I say OK, it's going to say, are you, names already in use, would you like to merge them? I say yes. Now, remember what I said, when you see that trend, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, symbol, all right, that's that warning symbol, take your hand off the keyboard and uh, eliminate, you know, Take your hand off the keyboard, read what it says, and think about the, the uh, implications. Because in this particular case, you know, I, I did it on purpose, but I picked something it won't let me get rid of because the state fund was a liability account. But notice I got rid of all the transactions. So in reality, what happened is I, I would have to go into each one of these and change them again if I was wrong. And that's the only thing I was doing different from what I showed you before because there is no demerge account. But comes in handy. Uh, place it really comes in handy. I can't tell you how many times I've got into a, a, a bookkeeper's accounts and I've seen you know four or five or six different ways to do SAMs. You know, SAMs with an apostrophe, without an apostrophe, SAMs Club with and without an apostrophe, SAMs Home, SAMs uh, Wholesale Club. You know, I mean, I've seen. I've seen all kinds of things, you know, Sam's Discount Club. I mean, you know, different people do different things. And then, some, you know, the boss asked the bookkeeper, hey, you know, I, tell me how much I spent at Sam's. And the bookkeeper doesn't realize there's four, five, six, seven names. And prints one and the, oh, hands it to the owner. And the owner's like, well, oh, wait a minute, I, I spend more than this in the month and you're giving me this. And what it starts to happen is if you don't do this, do this kind of bookkeeping cleanup, um, you run into trouble. All right, so you know because your your boss or yourself, if you're doing it, well, you'll start to lose confidence in 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 the activity, you know, in the accuracy of the of the accounting program. And in my case here, where what I did is I just flat out goofed, and I you know, and the reason this didn't disappear is because this was something that was set up with an item, so it's almost impossible to get rid of it. So let's say you you did this, and your boss says, "Hey, dingbat, those are not supposed to be separated." What you're going to have to do, and I wanted to show you, it's not that easy. You're going to have to open each one and move them back one at a time. So when I say make sure you take your hand off the keyboard, read it, and think, it's so you don't have to do this. All right, and I still have probably 12 more to go, depending on how many years they've done. All right, so be very, very careful. Until next time, this is Wayne Bilal, and let's uh, keep making ourselves better at QuickBooks, okay? We'll see you in tip number